Hey there everyone, T here. This is episode 300 and no 412 of the End Aid series that began during uh, December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. Sorry, the sun's right in my eye, I didn't realize that. <laughs> um, maybe I'll face this way. And Southern Time Productions Funding Drive Day 378 and is January. Um it's January 16th, 2023 today. It's Monday. And so uh, it's like, ah, the week's getting started. And I was like, oh, wow, I have three emails to reply to um, this morning. Um, uh, two business related. So it was like, cool, wow, things are picking up. <laughs> and, um, and so, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe another guitarist uh, I'll, I'll connect with. Maybe, who knows, who's not in Canada yet. So um, so this is like a long process. But um, this, uh, this Friday night, coming Friday night and Saturday night, I'm supposed to meet with two guitarists. We'll see if that actually happens. Because uh, I don't know, but in Canada and in Vancouver especially, I live most of my life in Vancouver, and it's like people would say, "Oh yeah, I'll see you there." And they don't, they don't show up. They don't even call. They don't let you know. They just they'll keep their word, right? Or something comes up. Something always comes up. It's like, "Oh yeah, oh sorry, sorry." It's like, "Ah, oh, geez, I you know I worked my schedule around you, and now it's like I wasted that time, right?" And uh, that happens in Toronto too. You know, it's like hard to find people. It's better in Toronto. Toronto's the biggest city in Canada. In Canada, five or six million in the surrounding area. In total, GTA, Greater Toronto area, and uh, so it's the more whenever you have a mega city, then you uh, you get a lot of things tend to work well, or they don't. It's not going to last long, but it sort of forces it to work well. Anyways, um, it's like a refinery. Um, so things are slow and, um, I was like, ah, what am I going to do? So I don't know. I just, I just, I finished the outline of the, the dreamer series, how, um, I've written, the the screenplays for the f first season. There's six episodes. Um, each episode will be between 40 and, and around 60 minutes long. So about, um, the series will be like probably over five hours until the first season. And so, um, the other seasons, uh, four seasons, I, I understand like the outline is, and it's getting clearer, but I really wanted the ending that what's happening right now, because if it's going to happen, it's going to happen this year. Dreamer series is going to get, my company's going to get funded this year. If it's going to happen. Um, yeah. That's that, that's that's what has to happen. So, um, And if it does, then uh, I have to know what the ending is. So it's like I've been writing the ending. It's like this is what's going to happen. You know, I wanted to get funding by the end of 2022. Didn't happen. So I've got to get funding sometime this year. So it's now or never. So... So I wrote that into the outline at the end, how and all the things that Dreamer goes through, like in what I what I concluded is that you know what the Dreamer does, he realizes that he just has to work and uh, and stay positive, just do the work and stay positive, and eventually you'll achieve your dreams. That's the message of the Dreamer series. So um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, so I have time. I was like, what do I do today? It's like my my wife's sleeping now because she works night shift. And, uh, you know, so I can't make, I can't practice. So um, we live in a one-bedroom apartment. So it's like, um, so, um, yeah, so I have this free time now. So, so I take a nap now because I don't always get the best sleep with my son at night. And um, so it's getting used to this new schedule. And um, 
Oh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Somebody remind me, which is good talk back and forth. Maybe that's what 5G, if they ever actually get it in place, will do. <laughs> no, it's just kidding. Anyways, um, no, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm taking time. Oh, so I have this free time. So, um, so I've been, you know, it's like I've been reading. Um, I had a few afternoons like this last week, and so I started reading again. The book that my 88-year-old uh, child student um, gave me before Christmas. And it's on, um, what's, what's it called? I forget. My brain's not working. Um, really good book. Yeah, that's, that's good advice. This psychologist in the, in the 60s became famous for a little bit and, uh, with this book. And, um, and it's, it's very, lots of wisdom. And so, uh, and I gifted her book um, called Thinking and Destiny by Harold Percival. Um, excellent book um, if you want to understand the nature of reality and uh, why we're here and um, what's it, what it's all about one perspective, interesting perspective alright guys, take care see you tomorrow